the next session of answers tutorial today i am going to solve compression test on concrete block this numerical i have already solved in my previous video using the static analysis today i am going to use dynamic analysis to analyze the same concrete block i will link the previous video in case you have missed it in the description box also you can check the i button above i am going to mark it over there for your understanding Let's get started now. I'll go to explicit dynamics and double click on it. I'm renaming it as compression test on concrete. Double click on engineering data. I'll go to engineering data sources. Like any other numerical, I'll have to choose the data from here. rather than going to general materials or general non linear materials which i have already solved till today i am going to solve using explicit materials because i am doing the analysis of explicit dynamics so it is necessary to choose the element from this block now i'll go to concrete you can see over here there are few options of concrete uh, i can see sr number 36 37 and 38 these are all concrete to the right over here you can see the description after reading the description i decide to go for the third one because this is the structural one so i am choosing concrete l i'll go to project and update it now i'll go to geometry right click new design model geometry units millimeter xy look at I'll go to sketching rectangle. I'll give it the same dimensions which I have given in the previous numerical, hundred by sixty. I'll go to extrude. Again, I'll extrude for the same value, fifty, and generate. This is the same geometry which I have made in the previous numerical. I am going to go to model and double click on it. I'm analyzing the same block for both the numericals because I want you to understand that in this kind of a problem when you have to do a compression test you have to go for dynamic analysis because there is a change in dimension of the body so a simple static analysis will not give you the accurate answer which you will get by doing an experimentation so when you do an experimentation it is always best to go for a dynamic analysis in this case and compare the two answers if you compare the solution of your experiment or calculation with static you will not get close answers but with dynamic analysis you will get better answers now i'll go to geometry solid structural steel i'll change it to concrete l next i'll go to mesh the sizing of the mesh i am going to choose as coarse you can choose medium as it is a suggested one but i will not go to fine because i have tested and i have found out that when i go for the mesh the graph is not proper and also not getting proper values of analysis in explicit dynamics there is a limitation that you cannot go to very fine mesh for getting the answers so you need to go for either coarse or medium so i'll go for coarse mesh you can try with the medium one as well i'll go to coarse and update Next I'll go to analysis settings. We have to choose the end time for explicit dynamics because in dynamics we are going to deal with something which is time dependent property. So for a particular duration of time you're going to analyze and if within that duration whatever results you're going to get that is very important for us. So I am going to choose 0.01. You can choose even smaller time frame if you want. to get the instantaneous results on the block uh, i must mention that explicit dynamics is basically used for doing dynamic analysis like uh, testing of a bullet on a bulletproof jacket or maybe the crashing of the two cars during an accident or you have some manufacturing processes so such kind of dynamic analysis when there is a crash or there is a hit there is a velocity coming into picture that's when we do more of a dynamic analysis here velocity factor is definitely not there of a structure but definitely there is a change in shape and size 
because this is a compression analysis so we need to decide the time for which we are going to analyze the smaller time you take the better results you're going to get but over a period of time you'll understand that even choosing very small value of time may not work at times i have tested with smaller values and i could get better results with this value of time i'll go to the side insert fix support on the top side right click insert force it's the same thing that i've done in the previous numerical i'll change vector to component in the y direction i'll apply minus 5000 I'll go to solution and solve. I'll go to solution, right click, insert, deformation, directional. I'll change x axis to y axis. Right click, insert, stress, maximum principle. I'm using the same principle, stress theory for failure of concrete which I have used in the static analysis I am doing the same thing over here right click insert strain maximum principle I will go to solution solve now we will see directional deformation first you can see over here this is the directional deformation which has been obtained for the body so this is the deformation which is going to take place on the body next I will go to principle stress so this is the principal stress which will be developed on the body. And this is the principal strain. If you want you can just click on max min. You can see the maximum and minimum strain on the body. Now I will go to chart. And I have to select the two components which I am going to use for drawing the chart. So I will click on strain which is already highlighted and stress by pressing control button apply. On the x axis I want the strain maximum. I will change the x axis term to strain and y axis to stress. I don't want to see the time factor so I will delete it. I don't want to see the stress minimum so I'll just double click on it. I also don't want the strain minimum. So this is the graph that remains. So this is the graph which you closely see in your theory and this is the graph which I obtained using explicit dynamics because this problem is of a dynamic type. In static analysis you will get only the linear part of the problem. If you want to get the non-linear part of the graph then you will have to use dynamic analysis. So I hope this numerical is clear to you. If you have any doubts or you want me to solve any question, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for latest updates of my videos. See you in the next session with another video on Answers Tutorial. Thank you. Mm -hmm.